this okay so today i'm going to be doing an update on my royal creation hair brazilian straight three months i took it out at three months um just because i was ready to see my own hair i wanted to wash my hair and i wanted to dye it black and then reinstall it at the end of this month um for my birthday coming up in july and then also moving out of town so you know but anyways this is the royal creation hair um, this is actually less than the two bundles I had in because when I was dyeing the hair, somehow, um, like two or three of the straps went missing. <laughs> I don't know if I accidentally threw them away or what, but I don't know what I did with I cannot find them. I really can't. Um, but anyways, this is the dye that I used right here. This is the dye I used, the Revlon Color Silk in, um soft black as you guys can see right there so and it's definitely a soft black it's a 1b color is what i dyed it to um i did miss some spots when i'm dying you can't really tell though i mean you can but you can't like you kind of have to look for them more so on this side this side you can't see anything this side you can see the few spots i missed but it's okay it's okay because i'm i'm, I'm not a professionalist i'm and i'm not a um what is it called? Perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist and I'm not a professionalist. <laughs> but anyways, I really miss my black hair. So that's why I went ahead and did it. And I really feel like the dye even made it a little bit softer. Um, might have been the mixture of the conditioner as well. But um, it's the color Silk. Beautiful color. So it definitely, and you see this bounce and luster in the hair. I'm barely moving the hanger and you can see how this hair flows. I really do like that. The ends are still good. Um, I did cut this hair to a 16 inch. If you guys haven't seen my last video, I'm going to leave all the links um, to my videos from day one of me reviewing this hair from the initial review. And I'm going to leave the store link, this actual hair. They have a um, semi-annual sale going on now too. So you guys need to check that out. Um, really good sale. So, I'm going to leave their Instagram, all that good stuff down below. This is the hair. Shedding did pick up a little bit this time around because I did cut the webs more so this time. I mentioned that in my last video. But it's still minimal. Like, no strands. No strands. One strand. No strands. So, it's like really minimal. So... Yep, no strands. And I'm like really tugging at this hair. So, and it's still smooth. Put your fingers right through it. And I'm still going to actually deep condition this hair too. Because I just finished dyeing it. Um, and letting it air dry overnight. But I didn't deep condition it yet. Like I said, I'm not a professional. So I don't know if you're supposed to do that right away or what. But I am going to deep condition it to make it a little bit more softer on the ends. It didn't dry them out, but they're just... A little bit more brittle, I guess. Not brittle, but maybe that's the word. I don't know. But they're just a little bit more dry than what they were before. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a good deep condition. Um, probably 24-hour deep condition. And, yeah, but I'm really loving this hair. And you guys can see how thick and full this still is. It will look, It's going to look super natural. Like, I love this. And I'm thinking about doing a Vixen sewing. I'm not sure if you guys know what a vixen sewing is, but it's like when you have a lot of hair out. Um, so a lot of your hair is out, so it looks even fuller. And I'm just going to put the hair together so you guys can see the length stretch. So this is how much, like, when it's on my head, it's like this much of the track, you know, each layer. So this is a lot of hair, guys. And I really like it. Like, do you see how thick this is when it's all together like that? Super thick. So, I'm loving this hair. And, like I said, I'll put all the store links and all that. Nothing has changed about this hair whatsoever besides the fact that I cut it um, to a 16 inch. I had a six, 116 and 118 inch originally. I cut it to a 16. Um, just so it can look more natural. And it's like the perfect length for me. And I feel like. I wanted to try longer hair and then I did 
and then I cut it. Like, I love 16 inches. That's just, yeah. For straight hair, body width. For, I mean, straight hair. And then body width, I like to go up to 18. And then for curly, I like to go up to probably like a 20 to 24 because that would be like in the middle of my back. So, anyways, this is that. Check it out, guys. I encourage it 100%. I stand behind this company 100%. So, yeah, that's that. And thank you guys all so much for watching. If you guys have any additional questions, you guys can feel free to leave them down below. I will contact, not contact you back, but, you know, message you back to me or comment you back. And, yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye, lovelies.